Hey guys, what's up? It's Kevin Scaff from the band of Data Remember, and I was invited here by Sweetwater and my friends at Rev to show you the Rev Generator 120 Mark III. This thing's a beast. As you can see, it's got a ton of knobs. Do not worry, it's very easy to handle. It's a four channel, but within each channel, there's many modes. It's literally the most versatile amp I've ever played. And I've played a lot of amps. Channel one is your clean. Channel two is crunch. Channel three is overdrive. Channel four is blistering overdrive. We'll just put it that way. We'll just start with channel one on clean. And it sounds like this, dry. And what I love about this amplifier is that it's the first like overdriven amp that I've played that has just a killer, killer clean. That's where a lot of those amps for me fall short and I usually have to use two amplifiers, but ever since I got this one, I've just been using one amplifier, which is super killer. And also on this uh, channel one, there's a wide switch, which kind of like wraps you up like a blanket and just holds you like a mother, which is really nice. And to my ears too, it kind of gives a little bit of a push. So it's are kind of on the verge of breakup a little bit, which I just love. So uh, yeah, let's uh, roll with this one for a second here. Rings for days, it's just amazing. So another great thing about the Rev Generator is that it has built-in digital reverb that emulates spring reverb. And it sounds great, so I'll turn it on for you here. Let's switch off the wide. Really pretty, pristine reverb. Kind of you'd want to find in a studio. It would sound great live, but I play arenas, so <sighs> I'm gonna have to stop there. <laughs> All right, so that pretty much covers channel one. So let's hop over to the channel two. Boom. And this is a great one for, you know, any like martial lovers out there. Um, this channel two kind of just nails everything. It's just a great rock tone. I actually use the rock tones a lot in my band. Let's just dig into it right here. Yeah, it's just that classic rock tone that everyone loves. There's also a bunch of modes in it. So there's uh, mode one and mode two. So here's mode one. Just a little bit more push than uh, just the normal channel two. And then here's a uh, mode two of channel two. So let's go through those one more time. Just normal channel two. Mode one. And then mode two. So it's kind of like just, you know, stacking. And it's super versatile, you can use it anywhere. Also what's great about the channel two is there's a bright switch, which I always leave engaged personally. And let's take a listen to that. It's 
kind of gives you that little bit of aggression and uh, that makes my soul happy. All right, and now let's uh, switch over to channel three, which is the Rev Purple channel. Uh, this channel is my favorite. This is why I actually got one. So uh, yeah, let's take a listen. <laughs> It's just amazing for, especially for like the kind of music that I play. It's just everything that you want in an overdrive channel where it's very tight on the bottom, but and you're not losing any uh, aggression anywhere. And it's just, it just stays exactly where you want it in a mix. And my front of house guy just loves it for it. Okay, and also on the purple channel, there are three different buttons you can engage. One's for bright, one's for cut, and one is for like a fat switch. And I will engage the bright channel right now. And here it is off. Back on. And then the second one that we engage is the cut. And it's actually going to boost the mids. So here it is off first. Here it is on. Here it is off. And on. And then the third mode is the fat switch and I'll turn that on for you. Here it is off. And on. Yeah, so that's the fat switch. Uh, it's great if you're in like a three piece, maybe even the lone guitar player in a four piece band. Just fills out the sound a lot, especially if you're sitting right in front of it. All right, there's even more. Think about this. So on channel three, the purple channel, there's also like aggression modes that you can punch in. So let's uh, listen to just the purple channel by itself. And here's aggression mode one. Here's aggression mode two. And here's just playing purple channel again. So you really get all the flavors of, you know, any kind of aggression that you want, you can get out of this channel. <laughs> <laughs> and that covers all the features of the purple channel. All right, and that leaves us with the red channel, channel four. It's obviously, it's the most saturated channel on the amplifier. So right now you're hearing a little bit of noise coming out. And what's cool about the amplifier is there's actually a gate button on the front and you can adjust the gate on the back and I'll show you how quiet it gets here. Boom, silence. Just what your parents wanna hear. There's no aggression modes activated currently. So here's channel four, the red channel. <laughs> Heavy, right? Yeah. Well, guess what? There's two aggression modes still to go through. So here's the first one. A little crazier. Here is aggression mode two. And 
and back to just the red channel by itself, no aggression modes. Aggression mode one. Aggression mode two. And also what's cool about the red channel is it also incorporates the bright cut and the fat switch that uh, I demonstrated on the purple channel. So a lot of people ask what the difference between the purple channel and the red channel is. And to me, the purple channel is a little bit more for any kind of like down tune riffing. For me personally, you can probably do anything on it. And then the red channel for me, I'd probably use for octave leads in my band. Uh, I'd probably use it for that or any lead, to be honest with you. Obviously, uh, the red channel is a little bit more saturated, and I tend to like that. Yeah, that's kind of the difference between both of those channels. And also what's really cool about the amp is its programmability. Any button that can be pressed on the front is programmable. So right now I uh, am back on channel one, the clean channel. And if you remember, I had the reverb on. Well, when you switch over to channel one, the reverb stayed on. And so if you go to like channel four, you'll see that it switches and the reverb turned off and the gate engaged. And now if you go to channel three, you'll see that the fat switch is engaged and the gate is still engaged. So it's really cool. You can just save all your like favorite presets. Another thing that's really cool about the rev generator is it incorporates six two notes Dyn IRs that you can access on this switch on the front. So if you just roll through them, it's like having six different cabinets in the amplifier. There are stereo XLR outputs. So it's like having a Captor X inside the amplifier. And you can also have any third party IRs, sky's the limit, that you can access through the two note software. So that's the Rev Generator 120 Mark III. If you have any questions, feel free to contact your Sweetwater sales engineer.